Number nine, Jake Gordon. Number 10, Ben Donaldson. <laughs> yeah, I know, over Tane Edmund, but he's had that uh, Wallabies experience that I think will give him the edge. And at fullback, I think it's going to be Max Jorgensen with the news about Kirtley Beal. Um, I think they'll... I'd, I'd really like to see them throw the kid in the deep end and watch him sink or swim. I think Super Rugby is a perfect environment for him to to feel to to establish himself. Sorry, just yeah. to stop you there, you don't see a maybe start ten, ten him in at ten Donaldson at fifteen. I could definitely see that. Yeah, I I could definitely see that. Sports booth fans, welcome to the Sports Booth YouTube channel. Uh, Hughesy here. Don't worry, Luke's here as well. Oh well. Yeah, fortunately, unfortunately, you be the judge. Um, <laughs> what we're doing today is we're just going to chat uh, a little bit here and a little bit of a bonus feature uh, in our uh, post podcast chat, a PPC as we call it. Of course, PPC. I I've like just, that. I've just decided that now, yeah, actually. So that, that's yeah. not scripted. Uh, but yeah, our PPC, our post podcast chat. We're talking today about, um, of course, our two Super Rugby teams, the Waratahs and the Hurricanes, and. Who we think is going to sort of be a, a breakout player, uh, or if you've been following us on social media, which if you don't follow us on social media, make sure you follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, one to watch, a player to watch. Uh, Luke's been putting those posts up there about one to watch from various teams around Super Rugby, and we're going to have a little bit of a chat today about the ones from our teams who we think are ones to watch. Uh, for me, uh, for the Waratahs, I feel like it's it's a fairly easy selection of, of players uh, as ones to watch who are going to have uh, big years uh, that that maybe aren't necessarily household names just yet. So when we did our last podcast, I said sort of that my my breakout player for the for the Waratahs slash Wallabies was going to be Langy Gleason, right? Hard hitting uh, number eight. I even named him in my starting uh, lineup as someone to batter down opponents and wear him down. And I think he's going to have another tremendous year this year. You know, another year in Darren Coleman's system. Uh, Michael Hooper being available for more of the year uh, to to add some craftiness around the ruck and things like that. And uh, even having someone like uh, Lockie Swinton potentially back as another battering ram. I could see both of them becoming a very fearsome tackling duo. Yeah, and I mean, you'll hear the uh, starting team or the, the full team that uh, accuse your names at the end of this podcast. But yeah, I can imagine Langy Gleeson's going to be a massive player. It was in my head when I asked you that question, it was over him or Marky Mark was going to get chosen, I think. Well, yeah, Mark Nwangani to Wase, I, I almost feel like because he's done so well for the Wallabies, he, he's almost already broken out. Broken you out. know, uh, I think he's he's like he's like a chicken hatching from an egg, right? He's already pecked out the the shell. The shell's cracked, right? All it remains is to push his little head out. Fair enough, yeah. And I can I can see that happening. Um, I am going to say mine. He played one game for the Hurricanes. Luckily, I've actually had the um, luxury of sharing the field on a seven circuit with this player when this yeah. kid was eighteen, and you know as a. Wellington Sevens player, you know, made the MPC Sevens team. I felt pretty good steering the field with him until he was our X Factor and we just passed him the ball and he ran around everyone and scored about <laughs> six tries in two games. And then you go and go, man, this kid's incredible. Riley Higgins, uh, he played here yeah, one game, debuted last year. Uh, I think he'll lock down a centre role um, mm. with the centre talent we have. I just think he is a freak. He's... I think I, I, I read out he was 6'2", uh, over 100 kilos, so he's a big guy. He's a freakish offload, like similar to what you, you see from Sonny Bill. Um, I think only 19 now. Well, no, I think he's just turned 20. I I can see him doing really good things um, in that midfield. And I imagine, I actually think they may give him a couple of shots at outside centre mm. with Jordy Barrett at inside centre because I think as we have named our starting teams, as I'll say it. He's not in my starting team. He's actually on the bench. But I think he'll push his way as the season goes yep. on. Like he did with the Lions. He did a lot, this a lot with the Lions, uh, Wellington Lions and the NPC. Um, I think he'll go end up playing a bit of 13. Geordie Barrett at 12, Ruben Love at the back. I just think it's going to be really good for him. And I think he's going to gonna actually put his name up for All Black selection. That's how good he is. Um, so centres, be aware. Definitely one to watch. One of the ones to watch if yeah. you've ever watched to one. Um, in your whole yeah, just, entire life. Yeah, how much one could a one to watch watch if a one to watch could watch one? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, um, yes, now we're going to move on to naming our teams. All right, let's name our team. So Hugh's going to go first with his Waratahs, uh, what he sees from them naming. Yeah. 
<laughs> can you you can now sh- sh- switch up your Kirtley Bell one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And th- keep in mind, this is for the uh, start of the the season as well. Yes. So this, obviously, this will more than likely change throughout the season. So number one, Angus Bell. Number two, Dave Parecki. Number three, Harry Johnson Holmes. Now that's that one's a little bit of an asterisk if he is healthy. Uh, if he's not healthy, I would expect. I believe it's Archer, Archer Holtz, Holtz yeah, to Dave. go in that position. Uh, number four, Jed Holloway. Number five, Hugh Sinclair. Number six, the Tash, Charlie Gamble. Number seven, Michael Hooper. Number eight, Lange Gleeson. Number nine, Jake Gordon. Number 10, Ben Donaldson. <laughs> yeah, I know, over Tain Edmund, but he's had that uh, Wallabies experience that I think will give him the edge. Speaking of edges, wingers, Dylan Peach at 11, Mark Nwangani Tawasi at 14, Lalakai Fiketi at 12, Izzy Parisi at 13. Now, that is a deadly backline if I've ever heard one. And at fullback, I think it's going to be Max Jorgensen with the news about Kirtley Beal. Um, I think they'll, I'd, I'd really like to see them throw the kid in the deep end and watch him sink or swing. I think Super Rugby is a perfect environment for him to, to feel, to, to establish himself. Number 16, Tolu Latu. Number 17. Sorry, just yeah. to stop you there, you don't see a maybe start 10, 10 in minute 10 Donaldson at 15? I could definitely see that. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that as well. Those two very good playmakers on the field. So yeah. if they don't go Jorgensen, if they don't go, do yeah, I, I would. I guess that's what I would like to see is Jorgensen. Find out what you've got in him. You know, yeah. get him in early. Right, it's the start of the season. Get him in early. Right. Uh, Sorry, back to no, that. no, that's all right. It's a very good point and very well made. Um, Tolu Latu sixteen, Archer Holt seventeen, Tom Lambert eighteen, uh, nineteen, Ned Hannigan, and then twenty. Uh, a bit of a Again, this depends on health, but I would have Will Harris there, uh, potentially Lockie Swinton if he is um, healthy. But I'm going to go with Will Harris, just assuming health-wise that Lockie Swinton's not yet available. Number 21, Namani Nadolo. Number 22, Mosese Tupilotu. And number 23, Harrison Goddard. Excellent. For my Hurricanes, I've got one, Xavier Numia. Two, Asafa Omoa. Three, Tyrell Lomax. Yes, I know that was the front row that got dominated against the Waratahs, but Lomax has improved, and so has Numia, uh, so I backed them. Four, nicest guy in rugby, James Blackwell. Five, Justin Sankster. Six, I've gone with Peter Larkai, even though he's an eight. Um, so if they don't select him, they'll probably go Devin Flanders at six. Uh, seven, Duplo C. Carifi. Eight, Artie Savia in captain. Nine, because TJ Perinar is out with an Achilles injury, so I can't see him making much dent in the season. It'll be Cam Ruigard. Ten, Ada Morgan. Eleven, Julian Savia, the bus. Twelve, I've gone Geordie Barrett. Thirteen, you've got Balen Sullivan or Billy Proctor. Both of them can definitely do the job there. Fourteen, Salisi Rayasi. Fifteen, Ruben Love. On the bench, I've gone Dane Coles um, because he's forever injured as well. 17, Owen Franks. 18, I've gone Poirikete Stones, but I've bracketed Tavita Mafialo, Mafialo on it because I don't know what side of the scrums they play on because I'm no, I'm a first five, not a prop. I don't yeah. know too tight head loose head. It is all gibberish to me. 19, I've gone with Caleb Delaney to back up the uh, locks. Uh, 20, I've gone either Braden, uh, Braden IOC or Devin Flanders or Peter Larkai if they decide on that. 21, Jamie Bruth. 22, Riley Higgins. And 23, Josh Morby to take us out. The Super Rugby Champions, the Hurricanes. Excellent. <laughs> anyway, that is us running you through, I guess, a bit of a couple of uh, beliefs who we think might break yeah. out. Our teams of... You don't support those teams. Drop your team and what you think their lineup's going to be in our comment section. If you do support those teams and disagree with us, obviously you won't disagree with me. So if you disagree with Husey, then drop that in the comment section. Any other comments you have, if you think that I'm the idiot, if Husey's the idiot, who, if these teams played right now, who you reckon wins? No one's ever thought I'm the idiot. Yeah, well, I have. Of the two of us. I definitely no have. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let us know. For now, thank you for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, like, all of that stuff. We will see you again next week for a bit of post-podcast chat. PPC. PPC. A bit of PPC. A bit of PPC about the OTW. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Bye. Peace.